Today we're building high security bunkers in Minecraft in this noob versus pro competition. The only rule is that both of us have to construct our own bunkers in within 25 minutes, after which both of our buildings will be attacked by an onslaught of monsters. The one who creates the most safe and secure bunker wins this challenge. Let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes and start the time. I recorded this video on my new standing desk from today's sponsor, FlexiSpot, after I decided to renovate my desk setup. Playing long sessions of Minecraft isn't exactly the healthiest thing for my body, so having a standing desk is the perfect way to mitigate that. But more on FlexiSpot later. Global Cup AI, hurry up, we have 25 minutes and until we're done. Good luck, Joanny. Good luck. All right. We need to protect this chest full of diamonds. And I'm going to start off with a little bit of cobblestone. Okay. Just got to keep it nice and simple around my chest. Whatever happens, secure the chest. Oh, wait. I still need to be able to reach it. Perfect. So, um, okay. This is the start of my bunker. All right, so here we go. I got this beautiful chest over here with all these diamonds. I'm just gonna be placing it somewhere else, though. So let me just, uh, yep, grab this chest and the diamonds, and then we're gonna start. I'm gonna be building an underground build. Oh, there's this nice hole over here. I have no idea who made this. Let me just, uh, whoop. Okay, well... I don't know where we are, but this looks like it's already a nice start. So that's great. Let me just uh, walk through these doors and... Oh, wow, this looks beautiful. Looks like it's already some sort of a base. Then right outside of the bunker, I need to build a bigger wall. It needs to be a wall that's about four wide, like so. Um, and then go keep on going. These blocks, they look really nice. They actually look fantastic. So one door here, that's fantastic. Just like this, and then we can have pressure plate. Yep, yep, just like this. So you go in there and you can go out. Oh, fantastic. All right, so this base is going to be attacked by monsters. I don't know what monster is going to be. Let me just make sure that it's gonna be protected well. Just grab my axe because I do have the power of roll edit. I have no idea if Jordy knows that he also does, but uh, I think he doesn't. I, <laughs> I really think he doesn't. So let me just see if I do this. And I'm just gonna walk towards the other side because now I just want to copy this whole part and then I can use it for something else. Wait, what is he? Oh, he's uh, making some nice advancements. Okay, that's nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yes, crying obsidian it is. Obsidian's really good. I hope crying obsidian is also really strong. I mean, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, so I hope this is good. I'm like a bit of a Minecraft noob, but I'm I'm not that bad. I'm not that big of a noob, you know? Break this block, put all the blocks down there. Oh, so, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, okay, we got a hole down here. We can also build a bunker underground, but uh, I don't really want to do that in all honesty. A little bit like this, perfect. And then we need to create a moat. You know what a moat is? A lava moat. That's what we want. And I want to cover it with dirt so people don't really know that it's here. Ah, oh, yes, this is definitely it. Just gonna place a bunch of grass blocks here. Oh, this is perfect. No one's gonna know that I have a, I have a bunker here. Okay, the safest security bunker you have ever seen. Now, would you look at that? Okay, this, I mean, it's pretty obvious. We need to cover it with even more dirt. Cover it with more dirt. Yeah, all right, much better already. Cover this part too. It just needs to look like a hill, you know? Maybe we could put some trees on there too. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Okay, let's get some saplings. You know, we just place a little bit of uh, trees all over the place. Oh, we gotta hide it further. Yeah, this is, it's still pretty obvious. Oh, we, we still need to have room to like peek out, you know? That's important. Sunlight's important if you have a bunker, but it's uh, very scarce. Your bunker will be underground. You won't really have sunlight, unfortunately. Oh yes, so good. All right, perfect. So we got 16 minutes left. We are in a little bit of a hurry. So I'm just gonna be uh, replacing all these blocks real quick. Set iron underscore block. And then I will be making all these rooms. And these rooms, they're going to be the rooms that are going to be distracting the monster because I don't know what monster is going to be taking us yet, but we are going to be attacked for sure. So I got a top layer above me, which you haven't seen yet. Um, and you will see it a little bit. I'm just gonna be removing these doors for now. I think that's fine. Um, I have a top room above me and that's going to be the distraction. 
station place but actually there's something underneath it which is going to be the real bunker like the real base and that's going to be this whole area over here so let me just um fill this real quick or actually i can just i think that's zero yes that's better oh we can make a redstone piston entrance yes yes i haven't used redstone in quite a while so we got pistons so we'll go like this and then we have a block here and then we need a block there and then oh we repeaters oh boy okay so this one needs to be on and then if we go like this can we then turn it off no how does this work again i forgot yes okay perfect so we go like this and then can we also get one on top of this i mean it's possible okay we could do something like that there we go yeah no one's gonna no one's gonna get into the base there is no way and then this is gonna be the only area you can enter this place from and then that's how you open it up no one will know today's video is sponsored by flexispot your one-stop shop for a fantastic yet affordable standing desk as someone who's basically a workaholic and does 95 percent of all his work behind a desk i realized that i was slowly falling into an unhealthy sedentary lifestyle hours and hours of gaming coding and editing while seated was starting to take a toll on my back and my energy levels that's when i discovered flexispot standing desks and let me tell you using one of these has been game changing their e7 pro standing desk lets you effortlessly switch from normal to sitting mode to standing mode to active mode and it is fantastic. It has a whopping 440 pounds of weight capacity and I can put as much gear on it as I want. Heck, I can even put Sam on it. Sam's full weight. Okay, now that's impressive. And all of that for a price that doesn't break the bank. And then there's the FlexiSpot C7 Premium Ergonomic Office Chair as well. The perfect companion to the E7 Pro standing desk as it gives you the best of both worlds. As sitting is still very much okay, obviously. The C7 Premium premium ergonomic office chair combines two seemingly incompatible things extreme comfort and incredible support something my increasingly aging back definitely appreciates and it doesn't matter how short or tall you are the chair is fully adjustable in multiple ways can size and fit for anyone flexispot's products have completely changed the way i do my daily work i now stand at my e7 pro standing desk in the morning as i code and plan out my week which boosts my focus my energy and my productivity and when i feel like gaming for a few hours i switch to the comfort of the luxurious c7 premium ergonomic office chair which also reclines like nobody's business so if you spend a lot of time at a desk like me check out flexispot's standing desk and office chairs click the link in my description for more information now back to the video i managed to surround this room with obsidian and add a layer of lava under it and i'm even left with 3.3 minutes left oh i actually yes i actually need some more obsidian over here because i need the roof so it's gonna be let's just set obsidian all right perfect this is the real reinforced room the only thing i need to do is place more obsidian because this is very strong and then i get some iron doors as well for this place which will only be able to be opened from the outside yes all right well one last walk through i think this is all just distractions and just super nice we just place anything over here and we got my drop down i got some more doors over here some buttons then we have this room where we preserve all the animals and we got this room where we have all the farms then we have this room where we protect our villagers and our trees but this is actually just bait and then we have this place where actually we have to drop down from our underground base all right well i think this looks great well you know what I'll also just place some water on top. All right, I told him one minute left. <laughs> I was done. All right, so he's gonna be plating some water over here because who knows? So maybe something is going to be taking us from the air. And it's gonna say, said water. There we go. And this might also help us with any blast protectors that we get or whatever we're gonna be getting. I don't know. We'll see. Um, well, I think I'm also ready. It's time to see Jordy. Hello, Mr. Jordy. I'm, I'm here at the door. It's time. All right. And uh, let's check out my bunker first. Yes, yes. Come in here. Come in here. Wait. You, 
Th this is not a burger. This is a forest. Uh, exactly. That's what I want everyone to think. Let me show you around, and then you can uh, let all monsters loose on my bunker. Sure, sure. It is really hard to realize that there is a bunker here. Mm -hmm. I know this really looks like just it's a simple mountain with some yeah whatever this is. Cool, cool, yeah. Check this out. Right. So I open this. Boom. All right, and then you go in here, but be careful, be careful, be careful. Come in, come in, come in. So you can jump to the side. Oh my. Oh. Wow. And then, check this out. This is where the diamonds are. You just jump up here. It says, leave now! Because I want you to leave. If you're here, I want you to leave. Yes, yes. Understandable. Do you want to spawn some uh, spawn some monsters and see if they can destroy my base? Sure. I'll just... Let me show you my base first, maybe? No, how about you first blow up my base or try to, and then we'll go and check out yours. Because I, it, it'll be quick because no one's going to be able to destroy this. We'll just let the monster lose and see what happens, all right? All right. Cool, cool, AI. I'm in survival mode. You can uh, wait. Is that the uh, wither? Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just spot in the wither? Okay, I'm gonna hide in my bunker. Yes, yes. You should get into your bunker. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big explosions. I'm just gonna chill right here. I see a creeper. Wait, how, how did you open your base? No, no, no. You can stay outside and check out what the wither is doing. Sure, I'll, I'll just record whatever is happening over here. Uh, looks like he's hovering above you. And oh, what? Well, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, there's definitely some explosions. Wait, is he attacking creepers? Oh, oh that's uh, possible too. Let me take this creeper out. Get out of here. This is why the bunker is so handy. Oh, wait. He is actually attacking your base now. He, or, well, he's getting really close yet. Yeah, he's hovering above it. He's hovering above it. Whatever you do, Global Cup AI, don't place any TNT to try and blow my base up, okay? Sure, I won't. No, no, no. That's definitely not a good idea, I hope. Wait, he actually is getting pretty close. Um, might just see what happens if I throw that nothing. Oh, no. Oh, Jordy, there goes your bunker. Oh, snap. Okay. Actually... These things that you're using, the crying obsidian, it is it is definitely working. Okay, still so far so good though. So far so good. No one can get into this bunker. Haha. -ha. I told you it's the safest security bunker ever. Oh my goodness, this obsidian of yours. It's uh, it's uh, pretty strong. I uh, don't know. Oh no, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't break the obsidian. Oh, sorry, misclick. No, I misclick. I'm really sorry about that. Well, whatever you do, don't blow up the sides with TNT. Because those should be able to break. I hope the wither doesn't do that. No, don't. I said don't. I am pretty sure you just said blow up the sides of my base, Jordy. Are you joking? Oh, snap. Well, thankfully, I still have three other walls. So that's good. Yes. So, yeah, Jordy, these teen, these things, you sure you still want me to help you? With? Wait, wait. I never asked you to blow anything up, Global Cup AI. I am, I am pretty sure you said, can you please help me blow up my base with TNT? Because what? Oh. Oh, you are, Jordy, you are still alive. I have to say, I like this challenge. It is a great challenge that you've asked me to uh, to help you with. And, and oh, wait, your chest is still okay. Your chest is still okay, Jordy. I don't know how, but these diamonds there. Why did you join him? No. No! My diamonds! Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Yeah, well, um, that's kind of destroyed. Okay, Quobble Cup AI. Uh, I lasted pretty long, but my diamonds um, are gone. Uh, let's check out your base now. I'm super curious. Here's my base. <laughs> it's just water, you fool. That's not even a base. I was thinking of making a fountain, but yeah, the fountain is just uh, was too much work. No, Jordy, I'm joking. You follow me, follow me. I, I, I mean, I have to say, I am not that great at building. I am not a professional. Yeah, but, but this is the next level bad. Don't say anything before you see this, okay? So, Jordy, let's say there is a wither chasing you, okay? And you just run here. You're like, oh, what a nice lake. And oh, wait, what is this? Shall we just do that? And then I, I'll just spawn in the wither here. You don't want to see my base? It is beautiful. Well, I'm going to spawn in the wither and then we can check it out. Yeah, I think I'm going to win this like super easily. Sure, sure, Jordy. Yeah. All right. You ready for this? Yeah, I am super ready. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to chase you. The wither is coming. All right. And now what? Jordy, jump down with me. Okay, Wh jump down. Whoa. Whoa! Down. Uh, oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, you got a whole slime fortress. That's so cool. Wait, where's this going, Quobble Cup AI? Yeah, so we got this little hallway. By the way, Jordy, watch out. I need to uh, need to do something because I don't really want this wither following me. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, just follow me. Follow me. Welcome to my village. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait a second. What? Quobble Cup AI, we only had 25 minutes. How have you been able to do this? Dude, I am such a fast builder. And well, you have an iron golem farm here too? Yeah, that's just in case any any winners come over. I can just let them lose. And they no, are you kidding me? 
that's a joke, right? So, Jordy, follow me. There's much more to see. So, here we go. There's a random tent over here. I'm also not sure why. Wait, you have a whole farm here? Yeah, I mean, I need to eat in my villages also. We need to eat. We need, we need to have our food. Then we just help these iron golems as well. Oh, even more iron golems, of course. I need to be sure that I am protected well, right? So, uh, you remember the Ark of Noah? Noah, there's uh, there's this guy who tried to preserve and save the world. And uh, he had all these animals on his ship. <laughs> this is also kind of what I'm doing. And also, I just, I just really wanted to have this happy vibe, right? Camels, pandas. We got some nice turtles over here. They're my best friends. Okay, Eddie, don't tell me you've got more than this. Uh, Jordy, of course there is more. So, yeah, just press this button. And... There's another floor? No, let's say you were Benny King. You're like, wow, where's the stairs? Yeah, the wither's still here chasing us, by the way. This, to... this, this cute wither, I don't know where he is. Also, this is my photo studio. So, if you still have access to Instagram, you never know. If you still have access to Instagram, you can just make your nice pictures over here. The lightning is perfect, Jordy. I promise. Polka AI, you are absolutely crazy. Yeah, well, by the way, where's this wither? I don't know. No, no, it I don't think the wither's ever gonna be able to break into your base. Wait, what do you have on the walls here on the outside? Nothing. And then this is my my actual bunker. What? So I fought for instance, like let's say a wither would attack you. What will he never break through? It's uh, it's obsidian. I'm pretty sure it's obsidian. And then here we have my beautiful diamonds. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? You know there's only one weakness this base has, Quibble Cup AI. And I have to give it to you. This is impressive. You've built everything to keep the wither out. But what if? No, what if the I knew wither? It. I knew it. The no, wither no, is no, inside. No, Judy. I, I am going to yes. No, Quabble Cup AI, I only spotted the, the wither. wither. I was the in traitor here. all along. Oh my, oh my goodness. Wow. Ah! Oh, oh, there you wither. go, buddy. No, well, no. thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to drop a like. Bye-bye. This video was sponsored by FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot provides all kinds of standing desks and ergonomic chairs to meet your demands. If you want a standing desk with a T-frame, you can check out their E7 Basic frame. And if you have a limited budget, you can choose the E2 model, which costs less than $150. Don't forget to use the promo code C730 for $30 off an order over $500. Click the link in my description.